I guess Tony gonna get two videos today, y'all. <laughs> because on my video where I talked about how this book demonstrates once again, this Bible demonstrates once again how it hates women. Tony comes up and, and, and in that video, I talked about the fact of how women were just treated as property and sold off and then and lay up in with a lazy eye considered unattractive. And so her daddy, her daddy tricked Laban, tricked Jacob into marrying her. Did, did Joker say it? Everything on the planet serves. You think men going to work and pay bills isn't serving you? We serve each other. Men providing and protecting is serving you. Men building this system to make your life easier is serving you. People at a job serve you. Yes, people at a job serve you. I serve people here in my cigar lounge. That ain't what I was talking about. That ain't got nothing to do with it. I am not the property of anybody. I have never been the property of anybody. Sure, you might say, well, you're the property of your parents because they controlled you. And in a certain degree, I might actually give you that one. But your Bible treats women as marriage slaves or sex slaves throughout their entire life. No matter what's going on with them, they can't inherit property unless they have a son. And actually, the son is the one who inherits the property. If the son is too young, then the mother just uh, is the warden over it until the boy gets big enough. But daughters don't inherit property. Daughters are only sold off. They're only sold off. That's not serving there's a difference between enslavement and servants and serving someone. If I go to a restaurant, the person there who served me at the restaurant is not my slave. The person is serving me because that's their job. That's different. And you talk about people didn't serve to make my life easier. Of course they did. They served. I served in the military. I served at the behest of the military in order to make sure that you have the right to be able to say this bullshit that you're saying right now. Just like I have the right to say the bullshit that I get to say every day. I served. Was I a slave? Military is the closest one next to prison. Military is the closest thing to enslavement because you're on a contract and they have the ability to do whatever the fuck they want to do with you. But did I was I enslaved? Was there a way out when my contract was up? Could they force me to stay in that contract? No, I walked away from that contract after my eighth year, eight and a half years. And I got hurt. I walked away from that contract, didn't take their waiver, didn't stay in. Right. But I had a choice. I had a choice. Did Leah have a choice? No. Did Rachel have a choice? No. Did Sarah have a choice? No. Did any of these women in your book have a choice? No, there's only one. My bad. There's one woman, Sheba. Sheba had a choice. She came to visit Solomon and then she, had, she took the choice to leave because she was a queen already of her land. She was a foreigner. So she had a choice. But every other woman in your book had no choice. Mary didn't have a choice. Did she choose to have this so-called Holy Spirit come and violate her sexually? No. Did she choose Joseph to be her husband? No. Did any of her family members choose to be the wives to the husbands that they were? No. None of these women ever had a choice in the matter. So they're not serving their man as a point of choice. They're serving their man as a, as a point of, in, of, of, of slavery. Slavery of being property, which invalidates the value of a woman. Her brain? Who cares about her brain? Nobody cares about her brain. Can she have a baby? Can she give me a son? That's the only thing that matters. And does she look good? Because that lazy eyed ass Leia, well, ain't nobody want to deal with her. We can't deal with her. And then when you look at the other two sl sex slaves wives, Bilha and the other one, I don't know why I keep forgetting the other lady's name, but Bilha, did she have a choice? No. Like I told, get your ass in there and get and, and, and have sex with my husband and get, get us a baby. No, nah. did Hagar have a choice? No, nah, get, get, get your ass in there and have sex with Abraham and produce Ishmael. She didn't have a choice at all. Not a choice in the matter. Did Sarah have a choice as to whether or not she was going to go and be with Pharaoh? No. Be with Amalek? No. She didn't have a choice. Abraham said, oh, that's my sister. And the king said, oh, I'm taking her ass. Did, he, did they have a choice? Did she have a choice? Did she say, well, I don't want to go with you? No. She did not have a choice at all. And when you don't have a choice, it's called a slavery. So you have a great day. Remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. The journey, the vibration.